Hello and welcome back. My name is Nate Guadani and today I want to share with you a couple of Qigong exercises that you can do while you're on your hike. So if you like to hike and camp, this is going to be perfect for you. So when you're out there, you're walking, you might have a backpack on or you might be pulling a dog and uh, you start to get sore, you start to get tired and that can really detract from your experience. And so I want to share with you a couple of things you can do while you're hiking, you take a little break, or even when you get to your destination, you can enjoy a couple of Qigong moves to really enhance your experience there. So it's just a short little video. Hopefully you can take it with you on your next hike. All right, let's get started. So first, if you've been walking for a while and you're starting to get tight, usually it's gonna be around your back or around your shoulders. So here's a couple of stretches and Qigong movements that can really help with releasing your back and shoulders. These are twisting movements. So you're gonna plant your feet, and if you're carrying your backpack, take it off. You're gonna bring your hands like this. One goes over and in front, the other goes down and behind. And you stretch and you twist. And you kind of reach and then release. And then you go the other side. And you reach across with your front hand, palm goes up and out, back hand, thumb goes down and in. So you create a twist with your back. And use your hips a little. If you want to straighten your leg and really stretch your back like that, you can. Feel the body start to warm up. Don't go too hard, too fast. Just nice and smooth, warming, and gently releasing on your own pace here. Good, twisting across. Nice. All right, and release. Good. Now this next one is if you've got a hiking stick or something you can hang on to, you could find just any stick, or you could even use like a trunk of a tree. I'll show you a couple stretches you can do to relieve back pressure. So you take your feet wide, you take your walking stick or your bow staff, and you slide your hips back as your arms come forward, and you elongate your spine here. So same thing if you're leaning into a tree trunk, just press into it, walk your feet out, bend your knees to start with, and then straighten out as you go. All right, you can even do this with another person if you hold shoulders and then you kind of lean back. Make sure you're about the same height though if you're gonna try that. Now if you've got a staff, you can also do a twist here. You take one hand down and you rotate and you turn the other way. Get that little twist in your spine and you breathe here. Straighten the knees for a hamstring stretch. Rotate your pelvis for an inner thigh stretch. Breathe deep. And then switch sides the other way. Rotate, twist. Nice work. All right, come back up and return. Very good. Now, the next one, your feet are going to come wide, your palms come together, sink your hips, and we're going to glide into swimming dragon, left and right. It's kind of a cool looking move too if you're up there on the mountaintops. You look like a ninja here. So glide side to side, your head turns away from your hands. Your hands move toward your bent knee. So you create a little rotation and a little twist, stretching your inner thighs and rotating your spine and neck as well. Nice. Left and right, good. And now rise up, inhale. And exhale. Bring your feet close together. This next one is a Qigong walking form. So if you've been walking for a while, and you want to just change things up or if you need a little break and you want to recharge with some energy this is what you do so you create an energy ball with your palms i'm going to mirror you so put your left hand on top your right hand below you make a ball shift your weight to your left foot step forward with your right your bottom hand will glide open and your back hand glides back so it's like this Riding forward. If you do Tai Chi, it's parting the wild horse's mane. Now you 
come in and you shift forward, empty this foot, step and glide. All right, so just on your own, and you can really move in any direction once you get the hang of it. The front leg and the front hand are leading on the same side, back hand, back foot are on the same side. So right, right, left, left. If you've got some space, just walk around where you are. Imagine you're holding that energy ball in your palm and you're spreading it out as you glide. Your eyes will look toward the front hand in front of you. Nice. Not the quickest way to get around, but a really powerful way to connect to the moment charge your body up to ground into the earth. You can even do it backwards if you want. On Qigong walking form. Nicely done. Now come back to center. And if you find a nice meadow or a little beam of sunlight and you want to just charge up and to meditate in nature, here's a standing meditation you can do. So you plant your feet parallel, bend your knees slightly, and sink your hips, tuck in your pelvis. So the pressure moves to the low belly. The hands will float up like you've got a beach ball in your arms. Soft, light circle. Tip of the tongue and the roof of your mouth, just behind your front teeth. Chin down. Embrace the tree. And imagine you're just holding a tree. And if you're a tree hugger, you can just do that <laughs> literally. Trees have incredible energy, and if you come next to one, placing your hands near it or around it, you can actually feel some energy too. You can also just do this standing still, looking over a canyon, your feet in the grass. Release any unnecessary tension and try to connect to your breath. Feel the breath and the very light swaying movements in your body. Try to absorb yourself completely into the present moment. Whatever you're feeling, be fully present for it. stand here for just a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, depends on your strength and your stamina. At first it's gonna be difficult, but you will get stronger as you practice more. Now, as you're standing, hold the energy ball between your palms and pull and push that space. Inhale, expand, exhale, contract. See if you can feel a little energy there in your palms, gliding and pressing like magnets. Stretch that energy out and start to move your body, swaying from side to side, and expanding that energy like you're holding a ball. Just play with it. Move it around, stretch it out. Coming back together. Let this energy ball move around your body. Just like the wind playing with a leaf Nature doesn't really have those plans. Nature moves about freely. Give your body that sense of freedom and space. Fully present as you just explore and experience this energy directly. Gather your arms, inhale, and bring it back to center. Inhale, gather, drawing it to your core. And one more time.
more time. Inhale. And your palms will overlap on your low belly. Close your eyes. Take three breaths here, absorbing the energy into your center. Listen to the sounds around you. Notice the smells around you. The sensations on your skin. And when you're ready, you can bring your feet back to a comfortable stance and release. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully it enhances your experience when you're hiking, a little less aches and pains, and it can really help you connect to nature. You know, sometimes we can go out and we just take all of our problems and our life with us. Qigong helps us let go of that and to just be able to immerse ourselves into something greater. So I hope these tools can help you have a little bit more fun and a little bit better time as you go on your next hike. Thanks so much. If you have any ideas for videos, you can always send me a comment and uh, love to hear what you think about our class today. Be well. Take care. Thank you.